If you're going to win the World Cup, guess what? You've got to play good teams. 100%. Starting with France. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming. It's coming. Football's coming home. It's Capital Breakfast. Good morning. It's Roman Kemp with you. And today we're joined by someone uh, who, in his new book, Gloves Off, describes himself as a son, a father, a husband, a brother, a fighter, a showman, and a mental health champion. He can also add absolute legend to it. Please give it up for Tyson Fury. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Hey. Uh, Chap, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, fresh off my victory over Derek Chisora recently. It's been five days. I'm still very sore. My oh. hands are killing me. Watch this. Look what Go I've on. got a present off of Derek. Check this out. Oh, oh, the bruise. That's a nice body shot. Yeah, that's a lovely uh, bruise. Oh. That is horrendous. That was a, an early Christmas gift by Derek. Thank uh, you, Derek. I appreciate oh, you. Oh, dear. I saw, were you eating cheeseburgers afterwards as well? We did. You Five know, guys. I, I went back into the backstage to see if he was okay. And uh, we ended up having a little burger together, which was a nice little moment. Oh. And, uh, yeah, all good in the hood. Hey, you know, Sean was there at uh, uh, the weekend uh, watching the fight. I mean, Sean, how was it for you? Oh, I mean, it was amazing. It's the first time I've ever seen like a boxing fight in person. I took my boyfriend for his birthday. So it was like a surprise present. I have got a bone to pick with you, right? Go on. I had no idea that this stadium was open top. It was bloody freezing. <laughs> but, never mind the freezing. How was the experience, the atmosphere? It was so good. Just the fact that you have all those different songs to come into the ring from <laughs> Peaky Blinders, everyone's singing along. You get the vibe going, I'll give you that. Yeah, it was definitely I, a good ring walk. I mean, I have to say, I, I, look, I, I had I had, I had never seen a spectacle like that. Like We've we've hold, we've held this, the summertime ball at, at Wembley Stadium before, but I remember it, at the fight in the summer. Yeah. Uh, and at Wembley, I've, I've never seen something quite like that. I mean, that buzz, when you're, can you try to describe what you're feeling inside your head from going into the ring? You know, from my point of view, like I come out of the back room, I don't know, I don't go into the stadium first to see who's out there and how many people's turned up. Mm. Um, but when I walk out and I see all the lights and I see all these, all my countrymen and women who's come to support me on this massive event, it's just overwhelming for me. And I'm up there and I'm thinking, oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> It's so I'm good. thinking, I've sold more tickets than Ed Sheeran and Adele. <laughs> I'm going to get to sing to more people than them. Yeah. Come on! <laughs> but it's the same, but it comes across on the TV as well. There's this bit that happens before I wanted to ask you about, and Gordon Ramsay loves it. It's where you get to meet you, like, just before the fight. Yeah. I always wonder, because that seems like the kind of thing that should happen afterwards, like you're trying to get in the zone. It just seems so random that Gordon Ramsay suddenly appears in front of you. Do you actually enjoy that bit or is this something you've got to do or like how does it work and how do you get an invite? Yeah. <laughs> it's always great to have uh, Chef Ramsay in there. Um, he comes in to cook me right up before the fight. Um, <laughs> Interestingly, he came in and he was on about um, like preparing for fights and stuff and how's it all been and whatever. I always like to see uh, Gordon. He's very mm. welcome in the changing rooms and I'm supposed to be, he's supposed to be cooking me a steak for since 2019 and I still haven't had it. So. <laughs> oh my God. So Chef Ramsay, if you're listening, get the steaks out, Mosh. <laughs> <laughs> Tyson, champ, you're a man of like so many talents. Everyone knows this. Singing, boxing, obviously, so many. This book, Gloves Off, it's the third book you've written, right? Your second autobiography. When did you start writing this? How do you have the time? I really don't know how I find time to do all this stuff. While writing this book, I was recording, a, obviously, a single with Sweet Caroline, and I was recording a Netflix documentary as well, so pretty busy and trying to train for two fights in the meantime. So oh, And family and yeah. everything that comes with it, that, It's right? been pretty hectic, but we get it in... Um, this book's been, been a, it, it was it was pretty tough um, to go back over old memories mm. because this book go, revisits all the dark times that I had in from the first book to the second book. More a more stable mind, I would say, talking about it and revisiting those dark moments. It was pretty tough for me, mm. Mm. Um, and the, the time I put into it, it, it was a lot of time. And there's some great reads in it and some great uh, great stories and stuff. And recently, I read it again and. It makes me laugh and it makes me smile. So if if you're laughing and smiling at your own stories, then one, you're an idiot and two, <laughs> it must be good. Uh, I, I mean, look, Tyson, this is something that mental health is, is, is so important to us as a show. We've been through some horrendous things as a show and, and it's so important, as I say, to, to so many people out there, myself included. I, I, yeah. This year I released a, a mental health book as well and, and that for me, retelling a lot of those stories, as you say, those dark moments. Yeah. 
Did you find it therapeutic in the same way that, that I kind of did? Yeah, most definitely. I believe that um, communication is the key to mental health. Um, the more you talk about it, the more open you are about it. Uh, I believe the more you can recover from it. I don't think you can ever really 100% recover from mental health. I always say this line, it's like Hotel California, you can check out any time you want, but you can never leave. Yeah. <laughs> But you've got to learn to manage and maintain this problem. It's never going to go away, so you've got to get, one, get that in your head. Yeah. And then two, structured routine life, get it going. Short-term goals. Yeah. Small, small steps. Yeah. And that's what I do, and I've learned to keep it at bay now of a long, stiff job. And every time I feel it coming on to me, I'm more prepared for, for what's coming rather than just being a total shocker yeah. and having a massive breakdown. I think, you know, you're so right there. It's about learning to deal with it day by day and, and, and kind of getting through it. And I think you're such a fantastic advocate for that, mate. So, so I, mean, I tried well my done. best. I tried to be as open as I can. And, and in the books and in the comebacks and all that sort of stuff, I've, I've been very open with my, my own mental health struggles. Mm -hmm. And I've sort of put it on as an armour and now people can't use it against me because I've already given it to them as public information. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like it's out there in the universe and I'm using it now to become a superhero. Yeah, yeah. but that's so, it. I mean, well, I mean, this book, look, you know, this book basically details how you have become a superhero. I mean, when, when, you, when it comes to pushing the book out and being able to send a couple of copies to some famous pals, be honest, did AJ get assigned one? He hasn't got one, but he might get one for Christmas if he's a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the idea of Anthony Joshua opening up a wrapped Christmas present. It is your book to it. That would be quite nice. I think his girlfriend or someone should get him a Tyson Fury signed yeah. autobiography for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay. Well, look, the new book, Gloves Off, is out now. So do go and get it. Well worth the read, as we say. Um, now, look, we've talked about your author skills. We need to talk about your singing skills because that is a big thing in a minute. We can't wait to just get you singing, if we're being honest, because that is one of the things you've become famous for, infamous for. You know, you'll, you'll do it at the end of a, a boxing match, you'll do it at the start, you might do it live on the radio. And you've obviously got a song um, that you've just, you've just re-recorded, Sweet Caroline. I have, I have. And it was such an amazing experience for me to, to take that song and bring it back to life in, in 2022, release it... Uh, um, in aid of, of mental health charity, a men's talk club, which mm. is a very, very special thing for me because, like I said earlier on in the show, it's about communication and talking. Communication will help you recover from whatever you're going through. Yeah. Can we make this an album, potentially, Tyson? Like, Or at least promise to do this every year. So take one of the songs that you've sung throughout the year and re-release it for Christmas. Um, um, what was the other one? American Pie. Oh, yeah, Amer like, yeah that's oh. what I thought. I thought it was going to be American Pie. Wouldn't then, that be yeah, great? I, I have released American Pie. Me and Don yeah, McLean did yeah. a uh, duet. Yes! Stop in it. April of, la of this year. Did we you did, already we, do it? Yes, we did, yeah. You thought you did, yeah. I mean, yeah. what about, what about I mean, an album one day? I'll sing an album. Never say never. Never say never. <laughs> that is the best boxing terminology. Every time, I mean, what about this fight? Never say never. What about this song? Never say never. <laughs> hey, why not? Hey, well, look, we also, of course, uh, we have to talk about it. You you feature on a Robbie Williams track. Is that as well? That's that, correct. How did yeah, that even come song. about? So it was quite strange how it came around. Um, I was over in Vegas doing a fight and Robbie came backstage like Gordon yeah, Ramsay yeah. did. And um, we got chatting, hit it off. And he said, would you, be a, would you want to come on my album? Um, and I was, he said, would you want to sing a song together on the album? I was like, sure, 100%. Do I want to sing a song with Robert Williams? <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Amazing. So, so you went out there and did it? So we just went out there and did it. Oh, and um, yeah, it was called Bad Sharon. And it was on his Christmas uh, present That's album right. a few Love years that. ago. So good. Hey, well, look, uh, dude. I've not done too shabby. Have. I've done a cover of... Um, Neil Diamond, yeah. Sweet Caroline. <laughs> I've done a duet with Don McLean. This is it. And I've done a duet with Robbie Williams. <laughs> but Tyson, statistically, you could legitimately call yourself a pop star, right? An artist. Like you've, well, I you've don't actually know about had that. More, if you think about it, you've had more success than many pop stars. Yeah, right? I mean, it's fair enough. Who would you, who would you, who's the, like, nowadays, who would you want to collaborate with? Collaborate with? Oh, you know. Maybe Tom Jones. Oh. Tom Jones. You know, oh, Tom Jones. I'm going to bring Tom back yes. out of retirement and do a duet with Tyson Fury. How about oh, that? If you, if you and Tom do Sex Bomb, that ah. will be... <laughs> <laughs> We're both going to dress up in leather outfits. Yeah. Well. <laughs> and that could be released on Valentine's Day, just yeah. saying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I always get the words wrong every time. We care. Nearly time to say goodbye.
hi to our guest this morning. Give it up for Tyson Fury, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. It's been a pleasure. Mate, so Thanks good. Thanks for having me on. Mate, it was lovely. Last time we had you on Zoom, but it's so nice to have you in person. Thank you. One, one thing that we, we had to do, right, we had to speak to you about this, uh, it is obviously England have got the World Cup quarter final against France. Now, have yes. you been watching the World Cup thus far? I have, I have. I've watched all the England games. I've watched a couple of other games as well. I thought we did fantastic the other night. Um, really, really good. I'm going in on great form. Mate. People say it's a, it's a really tough, tough game, but guess what? Going out there and fighting Wilder in America or Klitschko in Germany or Dylan White at Wembley, they're all tough. You've got to win. You've got to go out there, take the ball by the horns and win. If you're going to win the World Cup, guess what? You've got to play good teams. 100%. Starting with France. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming. coming. Football's coming home. <laughs> Look, Tyson, do you know what? Well, this is, the, this is what I was going to say, right? So, so uh, in, terms of, in terms of football, there is always that moment that a manager will have at some point. And Gareth Southgate, no doubt, will have a moment when, he, when he's got his team in front of him. But what I want to do is imagine if Tyson Fury was stood in front of that team. Yeah. Right? You're looking that team in the eye just before they go out there. Because I know they actually, they listen to this show quite a lot. And we've had, we've had a few of the lads on before. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do right now is your team talk to the England team. What would you I'll give you some music. Right, guys. We've all, we're all here for a reason, because we're the best at what we do. We're in the quarterfinals now against tough opposition against France. Let's go out there and smash yes! it! Because immortality awaits! Yes! Bring it home, boys. Bring it home. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Amazing. Hey, Tyson, thank you so much for coming on to the show today. My uh, pleasure, guys. Make sure you go and get his brand new book, Gloves Off. Make sure uh, you're streaming the Sweet Caroline version that he's got out there in the minute. The one, the only, the heavyweight champion of the world is Tyson Fury. Yay! Thank you, guys. It's a pleasure. Good luck. God bless. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.